Good morning team. Today we are going to do a lesson on support and resistance. Now what is support and resistance? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's something every one of you needs to know. The concepts of support and resistance are undoubtedly two of the most highly discussed attributes of technical analysis. So guys, remember, there's three different types of analysis we want to do on every stock. Technical analysis, fundamental analysis on the company, and trader analysis. What are most other traders looking at? So support and resistance, guys. Let's go over the basics. So right here on, on Amazon, AMZN, we have resistance. This line drawn here at $39. It hits once, it can't break. It comes down, hits twice, can't break. It comes down, hits three times, guys. It still cannot break. So this line is resistance. On the flip side, we have support. So if we look at this line here, this is serving as a support level. The stock comes down, bounces once, bounces twice, bounces three times, bounces four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times. On stocks, you either want to buy at the break of resistance or buy on the bounce of support. So let's look at some more examples of support and resistance. I'll show you a stock I'm actually in right now. This is an opening range breakout. It's on AEMD. I got in on this at the break of 105. So if we go back and look at the 180 day chart, you can see we had a gap down. And you can see with this line drawn here at 120, we have resistance there. Candle came down, hit once, hit twice. This lower shadow it hit three times. We're making higher lows. We're making higher lows. But 105 is acting as a level of resistance. So it hit once here. It hit twice. It hit three times. It hit four times. It hit five times. And today it broke through. So I got in. And 105 now should be holding up as a level of support. Once you break through resistance, that resistance level now becomes a level of support. Now let's look at a few more examples. On each stock you want to analyze three different types of resistance and support. And these are detailed resistance, that includes high of day, low of day, the previous high of day and low of day, uh, 52 week high and low. You want to look at the moving averages, the 200 day and the 50 day moving average. You want to look at chart pattern resistance and support. So that's just what we did on the opening range breakout there. You have to realize that reflection is a key trait for every trader. You have to know the past because oftentimes it'll repeat itself. Warren Buffett said in the business world the rear view mirror is always clearer than the windshield. The past is indicative of future returns. That's not a complete science but every time you look at a stock you need to go back into history and look at the past chart resistance and support. And so that was chart pattern resistance and support. And let's look at Let's look at other types. So we see support right here around, it looks like it's about at 202. So we come down, hit it once, we hit 202 twice, hit it three times, it's holding up, and then it starts breaking out. It goes up to about 210, then it falls back down. And as you can see, it's starting to form lower highs. Now this is called the descending triangle breakout pattern. The ascending triangle breakout pattern is higher lows. The descending triangle pattern is lower highs. So we create a high, a lower high, another lower high. We bounce off our support here at 202 and then we get a crack. So as soon as this cracks the trend line, if you were in this, you would want to be out and also this is a level to go short on. You would like to go short on this because you know a lot of buyers are beginning to sell as well. So let's look at an opening range breakout. BLUE. This is a lot like AEMD guys. So we gap down and then we start consolidating. And then as soon as we break out past the resistance level, that's an entry. And what your exit would want to be is if it comes back under your entry point. I love this pattern because it allows for a tight stop. So your risk reward on this is very good. You could only be risking about two or three cents if you get in on the break. And then your reward could be dollars. So this is a very, very nice pattern, guys. The opening range breakout. Here's some more examples of support and resistance. So we just have support, support. As soon as it breaks through the resistance, this is a buy. You want to know your exit before you ever get in on a stock. Your entry is the most important thing and knowing when you're going to get out. A lot of people, they'll get in and then if it starts to crack back down below the resistance line, you just start holding and hoping. That's not a strategy. You have to know where you're going to get out at before you ever get into a stock. Now a lot of people on these, they'll buy at support 
And then at resistance, if a lot of volume starts coming in, they'll scale out just so they're locking up some green. Now here on VRNG, we actually have an ascending triangle breakout on this one. If you remember the descending triangle was lower highs, look at this one. We have a low, then we have a higher low, and another higher low right here. So we could actually draw a trend line right below this and turn this into an ascending triangle pattern right here. So this is the resistance that VRNG formed. So we hit it once, came down, we hit it twice, and then look at the volume. This is what I was talking about. You want to see a lot of volume coming in on these stocks for a breakout. Stocks will not break out into a new pattern unless there's enough volume to allow that. The strongest resistance line in penny stocks is a dollar. A dollar holds up the strongest because in order to maintain compliance with the NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange, stocks are required to be over a dollar or they will be delisted from the exchange. Other whole dollars hold up well too because if you understand that psychology of traders, whole dollars are much easier to type in orders for. Rather than typing in an order for a dollar ninety six, an order for two dollars is much easier. So there's a lot of buying and selling at those areas. Thank you all for watching my lesson on support and resistance. I hope you learned something and I look forward to seeing you in the chat room.